Hey guys, today we talk about the Air Jordan 9 Retro Boots in the Olive Colorway. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. The sneaker you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan 9 Retro Boot NRG in the black, light olive, and true red colorway. Man, oh man, these sneakers are dope sauce glad to have got this sneaker boot right here for those people on the east coast that have probably been throwing tomatoes at me for the past few months because i'm always dissing the tims and the boots and the blah 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 blah, blah. i know you're happy that i caught these sneakers right here these snow stompers are probably absolutely great to wear during the snow and rainy seasons but anyways guys enough yapping let's get straight into the sneaker review so the insole or the footbed of the sneaker has an attached tongue to the inner portion of the sneaker in addition to that is covered in a black material and finally it has the Air Jordan insignia or logo in there in a varsity red colorway nice overall the outsole of the sneaker is covered in black and it has an Air Jordan logo that is covered in a varsity red colorway also in addition to that it has a rugged pattern that probably enables you to travel or move through the snow or rugged terrain a little bit easier which I like and I think is pretty stylish for a sneaker boot in addition to that if you look at the midsole of the sneaker it is also covered in black and has the Air Jordan insignia on the lateral portion of the sneaker and also consists of that rugged pattern as well the upper of the air jordan 9 in this particular case has this olive like colorway if you look at it closely it is actually an olive color but from far you probably think that it's a brown colorway the upper of the sneaker is comprised of a nubuck suede and also a waterproof like leather apparently it's supposed to be waterproof don't quote me on that i have yet to test it looking at the laces of the sneaker you'll notice that it comes with two laces in this particular case one being a black rope lace and the other being a brown or the olive color rope laces as well the eyelets of this particular sneaker are different compared to older or other versions of the air jordan retro 9. in this particular case this air jordan 9 is made up of or comprised of d ring eyelets which i think adds a very nice elegant look to the sneaker overall the upper portion of the tongue in this case has the air jordan written out and it's nice at the heel you'll notice that it also has the olive colorway as well in the new buck suede and it has that traditional earth or world insignia that usually comes with the Air Jordan 9. In addition to that, you'll also see a black pull tab. Sizing wise, I would say go true to size with these sneakers. Pricing wise, these sneakers went for a hefty $225 and they're fairly limited. I don't know if any future drops will come out in the near future. I do know that Sneakers and Snuff recently had sneakers up there. If they're still up, I'll put them down in the description section below. Casa question of the day. What are your go-to sneaker boots when it's cold outside, when it's winter time outside, when there's snow all over the place? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's talk about it, people. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to hit that notification button for the one time if your boy treated you well. I appreciate you all for watching my video and I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.